Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Brandywine Class of 2021 graduation. I'm John Jarpy, the interim principal. Class, begin your procession.
Will everyone please stand while the senior choir members lead us in our national anthem. The flag is at that end of the gym. <laughs> Again, good afternoon. Thank you all for being here. Remember to stay masked, stay seated with your own family or group, and as much as possible, try to observe social distancing. Please remember everyone that this is a dignified ceremony. Please refrain from calling out names so that when we present the diplomas, each of our graduates and, and their families and guests can hear the names called out. And if uh, you haven't done so already, please silence your cell phones. I want to give some special thanks to particular people who prepared this, help us prepare for today. Mr. Rader, class advisor, Mrs. Knapp, executive assistant, Mr. Hood, assistant principal, and Mike Cahour, Brandywine graduate who generously donated mulch for the courtyard. At this time, I'm going to introduce the folks that are on the stage here with me today, members of the Board of Education and administrators and guests. So, I'll ask them to please rise when I say their name and uh, you folks hold your applause till they're all standing. We have President of the Board, Dennis Hinsey, Vice President, Janice Exner, Secretary, Jason Spittler, Treasurer, Brian Burge, Trustee, Holly Pomranka, Trustee, Mary Dewis, and Trustee Jessica Crouch. Also here on the stage are Superintendent Karen Weimer, Athletic Director Vance Stratton, and our commencement speaker Marv Selge. And Mr. Rader is also up here. He will be announcing the names. Okay, let's give those folks a hand. They make this school district run. I also want to mention the, uh, and thank the staff members uh, from Brandywine. Some are from elementary, some are from high school, middle school, some are from Merritt. Oh, so thank you folks for coming out. It means a lot to the graduates to be here today, to have you here today. Okay, now senior members of the concert choir under the direction of Mrs. Denise Boger will perform Let the Dream Begin.
Next senior, senior band members under the direction of Mrs. Ruth Livengood will now perform Somewhere Over the Rainbow. We will now have remarks from our Board of Ed Education President, Mr. Dennis Hinsey, and he'll be followed with some words from our school superintendent, Ms. Karen Weimer. Thank you. On behalf of the Board of Education, I'd like to congratulate the class of 2021. Graduates, you did it. All your hard work and dedication has finally paid off and is being celebrated here today. Enjoy it. The road wasn't easy. In fact, it was downright hard and seemed impossible at times. But you pushed through with help from your family, friends, teachers, administrators, coaches, and so many others that got you here today. Today marks the end of one chapter and the beginning of another. But this chapter, the next chapter, is yours to write. Whatever your next chapter is, college, the military, joining the workforce, I wish you all the success in the world. 
The future is yours. So once again, congratulations to class of 2021. Go Cats. I would like to take this opportunity to personally congratulate the class of 2021. To say that this has been a challenging year would be an understatement. But as challenging as it has been, this class has not just survived, it has thrived. They have adapted, they've learned, they've grown, and this will serve them well in the years to come as they meet and deal with the challenges that life will present. So class of 2021, I wish each and every one of you the happiness of a productive life, the respect of your fellow human beings, and the love of your family. And no matter where life takes you, please know that you are always welcome here at home at Brandywine. It is my sincere honor and pleasure to introduce our graduation speaker. Class, our guest speaker today, once sat right where you are. Please give a warm Bobcat welcome to Mr. Marv Selge, owner of Selge Construction and a proud member of the Brandywine class of 1974. I wanted to move around and talk to you because I'd like this conversation to be intimate. I've got 10 to 15 minutes, so I'm not going to speak two hours. But I, I really want to speak into the hearts of the graduates because, you know, you really don't care how much I know. You only want to know how much I care. And I'm here to, before we start this chat, I just want to emphasize and make a covenant with the graduates today that when we're done with this chat, you can always Google my name and find it and call my office if you have a problem. And I make a covenant with you right now, I'll return your call. Now, I want to preface that by saying if you're stuck in a ditch, don't call me, okay? <laughs> I just want to be perfectly clear. If your car won't start, don't call me. But if your life is in a ditch, call me. Because I'll help, I'll help you out in any way. And, and if I don't have an answer, I'll find one for you. So now we have that covenant. And you know, if you remember Dr. Jarpy introduced me Friday, I was the, the guy sitting in a blue shirt over there. And um, the reason, and, and if you recall, he said something. The commencement speaker is here on a Friday to go through the practice ceremony. But why, why did I come on a Friday? Why, why, why did I do that? Because I wanted to see you. I wanted to look at you. I wanted to figure out what I could say to penetrate your heart, see your body movements, your actions, and just be around you. And then have a pepperoni pizza on a 90 degree day. Okay, so I did that and I'm grateful for it. But I want to tell you a quick story before I came here of what happened to me. Because every life has a story if we take time to read it. So every single one of you have a story. And I want to give you a quick snippet into my life. Two hours before I came here, I discovered my brother Gary died. And he, he went to heaven. And I sat in my office and I closed the door. And I wept, just like many of you have wept before when you've lost loved ones. And somebody knocked on my door, and it was our chaplain and our director of development. He walked in and he said, can I sit with you? I want to just sit with you and be with you. And he did. And this gentleman's name is Ryan Loving. And Ryan, for many years, has been writing on the tablet of my heart. For many, many years, he's poured into me, and I'm grateful and I love him for it. I said to him, I said, yeah, but I've got to go. 2.30, I'm going to Brandywine. He says, what time do you have to be there? I said, three. He says, Marv, it's five minutes away. I said, no, I want to be there early. I want to go, I want to roam the hallways. I want to look around. I want to get a flavor. I want to get a smell. I want to see and hear what I should say, because I had no plan. 
I wanted, to, I wanted to listen, learn, discern, pray, and mobilize. That was my objective, to be here Friday, to try to get to know as many of you as I can. Why am I saying that to you? Because I'm going to give you one simple thing, and I'm not talking down to you. I'm talking across to you. When you write on a piece of paper and you put your signature down, I want to encourage you to write legibly. You know, I would expect that your parents have talked to you about perseverance. I know your coaches have talked to you about character. I can't come and replicate that today. These people that are, that are out here love you. They've already done that. That's their job. My job is to give you a small tidbit that when you write your name down on a piece of paper, what does it say? It says, who you are. And if you make a scratch, if you make a fancy swoosh or something else, what does that tell the reader? That tells the reader that you really don't care. That you really don't care if they're capable of reading your name. And that is a sign of disrespect. And so I just want to encourage everybody here because you are entering a different season in your life to where you're going to fill out credit applications, job applications, and I've talked to several of the administrators here about a signature. And everybody agrees, a lot of the times if we can't read something, it goes to the bottom of the pile. And I'll say that for our HR group at Selch Construction Company, everybody who writes their name, they can read it. Okay, more about that later. And I'm not going to talk long because I know everybody's warm. But if there is a point that I do want to make to you, uh, and this is metaphorically, we're all writing on somebody's heart, on somebody's tablet. Just like that occurred to me Friday before I came here, Ryan wrote on my heart. And there's other people from Brandywine that did that as well. I know that you have coaches, administrators, and teachers hit that wrote on your heart. I had them here as well. I remember right over on that corner of the basketball floor, a gentleman named Warren Marazino who just passed, wrote on my heart constantly because he would say, I like your hustle, I like your hustle, I like your hustle. I knew him until the day he died. Just before he died, you know what he would say to me? He would shake my hand and he'd say, Marv, shake it harder. And I, I was afraid to hurt him. I grip a little harder. And he looked at me and he said his last words, I love you. That impacted my heart. And so my encouragement to you today is to do just that. Write on the tablet of somebody's heart. Love them and do it legibly. When you leave your mark on their heart, have it be one that they remember and that they can read. Don't leave a scratch. God forbid, don't leave a bruise. So as you walk through your life and you perhaps get married, do that with your spouse, do that with your children, and do that with your neighbors. And that's a simple message that I wanted to leave. Call me if you ever need me. I only had five or 10 minutes to establish a bond of trust. And that's very difficult to do in a short period of time. But I can't emphasize enough, I will be thinking about you guys and praying for you guys as you move forward. Thank you for the privilege of being here. Thanks so much, Mr. Selge. Our salutatorian is Megan Platts, and our three valedictorians are Morgan Horvath, Megan Weger, and Annie Youngs. And they will now give their addresses to the class.
Good afternoon. My name is Megan Platts, and I am the salutatorian of the class of 2021. We gather here today to celebrate the ending of one of the most important chapters of our lives. This last year has been one of the toughest, and for that, I would like to start off by saying thank you to the staff, community, and parents who have helped to make this year happen for us. Even though we still missed out on a lot, I am beyond thankful to have been able to go to school in person my senior year. Throughout this year, I have come to a lot of realizations and started to see the deeper meaning in things. Conrad Hilton once said, success seems to be connected with action. Successful people keep moving, they make mistakes, but they don't quit. To my fellow classmates, you have lived through something unimaginable. I've seen you struggle, fail, and give up at times. However, as I see you all sitting here today, I know that you fought and you got back up and pushed onward. And for that, I am proud of each and every one of you. I want you to remember that if you made it through this, you can handle anything life throws at you from here on out. I have no doubt that you will all accomplish your goals and aspirations, but always remember that to be successful, you must learn from your mistakes and persevere. Throughout my time here at Brandywine, one of the most influential lessons I have learned is that education is not based on the number or the grade in the grade book, but the knowledge and intellect you carry with you from the subject. So to my fellow classmates, please look back at everything that has happened here and reflect on the bigger picture. Through perseverance, drive, and passion, you can achieve anything. I have no doubts that you'll achieve great things in life, and I can't wait to see where you'll end up. I would once again like to thank the staff, community, and parents for all being here today and for everything they have done for us. I would also like to congratulate Mr. Derricky on his retirement. I hope he enjoys his time with his dogs, Finn and JC, and his wife. But to the class of 21, I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Good luck. Hey y'all, I'm Morgan Horvath, I'm one of the valedictorians. Well guys, we made it through senior year. It felt like it was over in two seconds in my experience. It's insane just how fast it all goes. Nobody can say we had a normal senior year, but what a year we made of it considering the obstacles we faced. As the class of 21, we didn't know what kind of year we would be facing not only as seniors in high school, but as well as a community trying to make it through the twists and turns of the pandemic. From day one of this year, every single event we've been building up to for the past 12 years was up in the air. Sports seasons, homecomings, prom, and even graduation were a maybe. No part of this year has been a guarantee. In the face of uncertainty, we were all kept on our toes. This year was extremely successful considering every obstacle we had to work around. I'd like to think there was a small positive side to the whole situation, though. Throughout the past year and a half, we've all been taught that you never know what experiences you'll get that every day, every moment needs to be enjoyed and appreciated. You never quite know when an experience will be taken away. The lesson I've learned best is that you need to take advantage of every second and be grateful for all the opportunities that are thrown your way. Not just in high school, not just until the pandemic is over. For the rest of your life, enjoy and truly live every possible second to the fullest. I know most of y'all have been attending school together since kindergarten or at least elementary school. I came to Brandywine in my eighth grade year. I wasn't quite sure what to expect, but I'm extremely grateful for my time here. I know we've all had moments where we were stressed with high school or felt it was unnecessary to even be here, but I'm truly a better person for having attended school here. Although I haven't been a part of our class as long as some of you have, I'm very lucky to become friends with most of you. I want to thank every one of you for being my classmates, for the laughs in the classroom, the support on the sports fields, and for the small sense of community we've had from time to time. I would also like to thank the time, take the time to thank every single teacher that any one of us has ever had, Brandywine staff or otherwise. Teachers are very underappreciated under for the work they do. Their job obligations are simply to teach us, but their unspoken task is to inspire us, to motivate us, and to provide leadership. All things that I am blessed to say my teachers have done easily time and time again. I'd also like to thank the administrators and all the other staff who was involved in making the school run. I must also include coaches because I wouldn't be who I am today without the support and leadership of the coaches here at Brandywine. To all the staff, your work has paid off in so many people's lives. Please know that your hard work and dedication is greatly valued. 
Your work and support is even more greatly valued when considering the difficulties this year has thrown at us all. Through the hassles of quarantining and switching back and forth from online learning to in-person, the staff resisted letting the quality of education be affected. They remained focused and encouraging to keep everyday feel as routine as possible. That is no easy task in a time such as this. I would also like to take a moment to thank my family, who has been there for me in every moment, every way possible. I would especially like to thank my parents, who have taught me time and time again to be hardworking, kind, and dedicated to everything I do. In a day and age where life is so chaotic, we are all about to head off on our paths and do what we wish to in our lives. No matter where the universe intends to take you, I wish you all the very best of luck. Please take care of yourselves. Remember that you matter, and you're capable of taking on whatever life throws at you. Remember to make the best of every second you get. We only get one life, and it's vital that you take every chance you get and make the most of every day we are blessed to experience. Take care of yourselves and of other people when you get the chance. If there's, world, if there's one thing this world can never have enough of, it's kindness. Good luck, Bobcats. And also, happy birthday, Iris. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Megan Wieger, and I am one of the valedictorians of the Brandywine class of 2021, and I am humbled and honored to be speaking here today. Our lives, as we know, are about to change. We are about to leave high school and, um, and embark on the next step of our journey, whether that be college, trade school, working, joining the military, or taking a gap year. As we go our separate ways, I hope that all of you remember the friendships you have formed, the lessons you have learned, and the Brandywine community as a whole. And I'm optimistic to hope that you'll remember a bit of the advice that I want to give next. I would like to share with you a quote that my parents raised me on. John F. Kennedy once said, to whom much is given, much is required. As we gather here today to celebrate our graduation, the accumulation of our success and hard work, I want each of us to recognize three gifts that we all have been given, the first of which is support. For a moment, I would like all of the graduates to close their eyes and think about someone who has helped them get to walk across the stage today. It can be a family member, friend, teacher, coach, anyone. After the ceremony is over, please tell them thank you for their support and dedication and what they mean to you. Personally, I would like to thank my family and friends, as well as Tanya Snyder of the Berrien County Math and Science Center, Angie Mann of the Professional Health Careers Academy, Ruth Livingood, Susan Roth, and James Durickey. Thank you for making me the person I am. The second gift we have received is education. It is a privilege to learn, one that many people around the world do not have access to, and one that we should never take for granted. Education opens doors to a fulfilling career, whether that education may come from a college, trade school, military, or on the job training. Even though we may not use every aspect of our high school education, we have gained essential skills such as the art of problem solving, a strong foundation of perseverance and discipline, and lessons in how to become confident in what we do that will translate to any challenge we take on in the future. The third gift we have been given is opportunity. Because all of you have put in the hard work to required, required to graduate, you have the opportunity to build a life and a career for yourself. You also have the chance to go forward, take initiative, and create a change that you want to see in the world. So I encourage you all to make the most out of everything you do and never pass up opportunities you come across in the future. Remember that to whom much is given, much is required. The gift of support means nothing if we do not aid others in need. The privilege of education is useless if we do not continue to learn every day and expand our horizons. The gift of opportunity is pointless if we do not take advantage of it. We must, remem we must remember to pay forward everything we have been given. In class of 2021, I hope you all use the support, education, and opportunity that Brandywine has provided you to serve others in the future. And finally, to my fellow graduates, congratulations. You should all be extremely proud of yourselves for making it to today. In addition to the guidance you have received from others along the way, the person you should be primarily attributing your success to is yourself. You have put in the work to graduate today. 
you have taken it upon yourselves to pass your classes and juggle work, extracurriculars, or other responsibilities. You deserve this. You deserve today. Congratulations to the Brandywine class of 2021. I wish you all the best of luck on all of your endeavors. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Annie Youngs. I am one of the valedictorians of the class of 2021. I would like to first um, congratulate this year's class of um, graduates and families. We have finally did it. Secondly, I would like to take a moment and thank the administration staff and teaching staff for helping us through our educational journeys. It's been one heck of a ride. Finally, I would like to thank my parents um, for pushing me past my limits and getting me here today. I would not be the person I am today without them, and I am eternally grateful for them. Today, I'd like to talk about the puzzle we call high school. When I first walked into the doors of the high school in seventh grade for the first time, the thoughts running through my head were not, I can't wait to leave, or how much longer until I go home. They were more along the lines of, geez, I really hope nobody sees me walking in with my mom on the first day of school. I was determined that it was just all to embarrass me, but in all reality, she was just doing her job as the amazing teacher she was at Brandywine. When eighth grade rolled around, we all thought we were the top dogs in the middle school. Uh, but when it came to dealing with the freshmen, I'm pretty sure we were all scared out of our minds, or at least I was. Then came freshman year, and we were finally figuring things out for ourselves. We were no longer the top dogs of the middle school, but the little minnows in the pond full of much bigger fish. Life was complicated at this point, or so we thought. Let's take a minute and look at our puzzle. At this point in your puzzle, you have figured out the edge pieces. You've started finding what pieces go where just in preparation to start on the heart of the puzzle. For me, sophomore year happened in one semester. Yeah, one semester. I thought life was hard before, and then I added an extra year into 18 weeks. It was hard, but I couldn't have done it without my mom. Now the sophomore year is done and you have more of your puzzle done, you, have start, or you can start on the inside and figuring out where, what pieces go where in your puzzle. Junior year was the best and worst life, or worst year of high school, and I only say worst because we had gotten shut down because of COVID-19. Junior year was looking really good for our class. We were doing well in sports and in other scholastic activities. Everything was perfect until that one day in March. I'm sure many of us remember that day very clearly. Getting let out of class early to clean out our lockers in hopes we would be coming back after spring break. Spring break then came and went, and we were told that we weren't able to come back to school because of the rising cases in COVID-19. I know I was upset not being able to go back to school. Our bedrooms became boardrooms and our kitchen counters became classrooms, and that's how we finished out our junior year. It was hard, I'll be the first to say it, but our class never gave up. Let's take another look at our puzzle. At this point, we are about halfway done with the heart of the puzzle, and we, are still, we, and we still have a whole nother year to finish the rest of it. Finally, senior year, the year everyone thinks will never come fast enough. I think I can speak for all of us when I say I was excited for school to start back up in the fall. Yes, there were some restrictions, but that is what made us, or that's what made our class cherish the last couple of months of high school even more. We were allowed to have some of the activities that last year's seniors missed out on, such as soccer season, baseball, softball, tennis, prom, senior skip day, and even graduation. I'm so thankful that even though we have to wear masks and social distance, we were able to have somewhat of a normal senior year. This year flew by. It was, there was laughing, crying, laughing so much, we ended up crying and love. I couldn't have asked for a better senior class to graduate with and I'm so thankful for the friends I made along the way. At this point, we are placing the last few pieces of our puzzle. It's been rough and challenging, but there was no one standing in the way of us finishing it now. Now that we are finished with the puzzle of high school, it is time to start a whole new puzzle. This is where you can try puzzle pieces that don't fit or use puzzle pieces that are placed in spots that might scare you. Doing things that scare you is one of the best ways of learning. This next puzzle that we are about to embark on is the puzzle of life. 
This one will have more pieces and a lot more challenges incorporated into it, but I challenge you, the class of 2021, to move forward as we go through these next, year, or next chapters in our lives, beat those challenges, and rise to the occasion. Thank you again, and congratulations to the class of 2021. We finally did it. Thank you so much, students. Please now welcome back our senior choir members who will sing Like an Eagle.
Thank you. Members of the Board of Education and Ms. Weimer, I hereby certify to you that the students seated before you have met the graduation requirements set forth by the State of Michigan and the Brandywine Community Schools Board of Education. With great pleasure, I present to you the class of 2021. <laughs> Mr. David Rader, Senior Class Advisor, will now read our graduates' names and members of the Board of Education will present the diplomas. Morgan Catherine Horvath. Micah Levi Gamble. Megan E. Weger. Jacob D. Box. Annie Elizabeth Youngs. Skyler William Van Kirk. Megan N. Platts. Joshua S. Sackman. Brianna Elizabeth Leeper. Alexander Edward Manley. Kelsey Elena Simpson. Keegan Ashwood James. Vivian Diane Fahey. Jose Julio Lopez. Grace Marie Hinzi. Caleb J. Bird. Tyla M. Young. Rajit S. Gojra. Malika H. Abdullah. Gabriel John Gua. Alyssa A. Adamzak. Bryce Allen Taberski. Miranda R. Adams. Tristan R. Gordon. Kristen L. Alvord. James E. Vaughn.
Jamie Lynn Chambers. Dayton F. Dupkowski. Ava Leon Doctor. Michael T. Russell. Haley Nicole Fedor. Benjamin Joseph McKee. Madison A. Franks. Hunter A. Heath. Delaney May Hireman. David T. Summers. Gabriella Maurice Inman. Hunter M. Smith. Iris R. Lehman. Nicholas Carl Lloyd. Mire Don Cherry Laneman. Avery Jackson Ladislaw. Cambry Sue Lotzbeck. Zachary J. Anderson. Sequoia Rose McGlurkin. Bryson Lawrence McGlurkin. Savannah Joe McDougall. Harvey, Javier F. Garcia. Trisha Nicole Miller. Cruz A. Sanchez. Grace Ellen Miller. Michael D. Cole the second. Kylie Ann Myers. Yahir Guadalupe Cruz. Isabella Eve Olson Shackelford. Cameron James Barrier. Meg L. Pomrenka. Alex R. Renner. Edith. R. Roman. Kendall David Christman the second. J. 
Gianna R. Stella. Jacob M. Luskowski. Catherine Haley Stratton. Justin L. Rusky. Kelly F. Wells. Zadanye P. Maranchel Perez. Jaden M. Wagner. And Tyler Jeffrey Shabinsky. Please welcome Senior Class President Gabriella Inman. Congratulations, Senior Class. Now we all flip our tassels to the right. Thank you all for attending today. Very special day, very special ceremony, very special graduation. Now, if those members of the audience could please stay seated for the recessional of the class of 2021. And following the recessional, please join the class in the courtyard. <laughs> 